welcome to its traffic in this video we are going to discuss about frames it is a uh, from part 3 chapter 2 first uh, we will have to know what is frame before going to explain frame frame it allow you to divide the web page into several independent window allowing multiple views at a time you will see whenever you open website like Facebook YouTube or any other web pages there some part are always static they never change especially the, the header part footer part and the sidebars they will be always remain same only the middle part of the page or the content of the page pages used to change so that work we can do by using frames and even uh, the websites who are displaying scores you will see there the whole pages remain same only the particular part where score is displayed that part is used to get changed so this we can do by using frames and uh, the collection of frames in a web page is called frame set means suppose in my web page there are three frames this together it will call as frame set and earlier version of html in html4 we use frame set tag to define frames but in html5 we use iframe tag iframe stands for inline frames inline means we can embed another document to our current html document means already we will have a web page on that particular web page only we will put some other web page like uh, you can put stickers on at top of your book cover so this way we can do it the syntax is iframe src and in inverted comma we will write exact document name then we will close the iframe here in i by using iframe take not only html file we can as well as add pdf files and some multimedia files here so that you will learn later on in this video you will learn how we add html files by using iframe tag iframe tag have three attributes src here we will specify the source of the frame means which space we are going to add height here we will define the height of the frame width width of the frame after that uh, the CSS properties when we are adding the pages there will be some borders isn't it so how you will control that border for that we will use these properties border width it will display the thickness of the border border style means this one solid double dotted dazed what type of border you want that one like uh, in that presentation only we will see the around border is just simple line that is called as solid and after the header one line more line is there that is dazed one and border color attribute the uh, property this one to change the color of the border now let us try to create a frame at uh, before going that we will show how frame divide the web page into multiple parts so here I have draw a diagram suppose there this is my page I am coloring that my page into some other color this is my page in pink color main page this one and this page I have saved this main page dot html and here I have added one two three four five frames one frame this is for header this one frame for footer this one frame for side menus as you can see on youtube they are showing music games live streams etc this one is the actual content and this side will display the advertisement or whatever some other menus we can display here so to create this page first we'll have to create the main page and inside the main page we are going to insert these particular frames but when we will insert that frames 
that pages also have to be created separately otherwise it will display as page not found so let's go to visual studio there we'll try to create this particular page so i'm going to visual studio at first here We have to create an HTML document. For that, we will write HTML colon file. And this specially works for Visual Studio. If you are going to do in Notepad, you have to type everything yourself. So we have created that HTML file. Now that head part, whatever have in Meta, that part is not necessary for you. So we are going to remove it. And the document title will give us frames. So we are giving us frames. Now, if we go to the diagram, you will see the header covers almost 90% of the page. So we will write here after body iframe. src and my page name I am giving as header only header dot html and I am giving the height as 100 and width as 90% closing the iframe now if I reload the page you will see I already had a page which name is header so that particular part came here ABC school now we'll have to create the middle portion of the page again we'll go to the whiteboard here we have three parts first part, second part and third part. Let's assume that this part contained 20% and this part contain 50% and this part advertised by contained 20%. This we have to take care that it should not go above 100%. If it go above 100% then the last frame will come to the next line so here we'll have to do this part we have to add a side menu add a content and advertise means three frames we have to create so we'll go to vs code again and here what we will do we'll copy this line and paste it three more times just we will change the name here we need sidebar so we'll write side menu and we will keep the height little more we'll make it 300 and percent is 20 and this one page name will keep as content height i am giving as 300 only and percent is 50 and this one is suppose i am keeping as add height 300 and width 20% now you see this <coughs> structure first piece as we have not created a particular piece it's showing as cannot get second piece third piece now after that we'll have to create footer footer of the piece so again here will come instead of header we'll write footer footer.html height i am keeping as 100 only and weight will be 100 percent so this part also came this part done now to display it as you can see i think you are 
you are looking completely white screen we can make it colorful by using busy color attribute I think busy color yellow I don't know whether it will display or not now we'll have to use CSS for that okay this part done this way we can do it but as you can see here we can see only the top page but other pages we are not getting now let's create the side menu page we'll have to create add a new HTML file for that we'll create control and N we'll select the language as HTML and after that we will write directly the part like I am creating a menu UL then ally like songs ally games ally movies then ally close and ol you will close now I am saving the page as side menu dot html so I have saved in same folder now if I reload the page you will see on this side we are getting a menu like songs games movies and for content page we'll have we'll have to create one more file one more new file so I'm taking again slash <coughs> and language HTML and here I am writing h1 this is the content of the page then h1 close after that we'll save the file as content.html so content save so you'll see that content part also appear here now the last part that page name I am keeping I have given as add as you can see here I have written as add.html so we'll create a new file again control n language html and this page we will give us like a uh, I am creating an ad 50% like big billion days fifty percent of on all product then h1 close and saving this page is add dot html now see that part also appear I think h1 is too big we'll make it h4 4 is again smaller so let it be 3 and closing will also be 3 done now we'll have to make the footer for that we need a footer page so control n language html here we'll make p align center and here we'll write at the rate c o p y copy not at the rate i think m person m person c o p y copy it will display copyright symbol all rights reserved 2023 then we'll close the p and we will have to save the file for control s and this page name is footer 
Now you will see at the last of the page that footer part also appeared. Now we will have to put border attribute for that we will use CSS. We will go to the we will go to the main page frame.html and here we will use CSS section. For that we will write style. Inside that style we will select iframe and the properties we will add like border width. We can give either in pixels or we can give like large, thick, small, this part. I am giving in pixels, so one pix. Now you see the border width is one pixels. And if you have to hide the border, just we can put zero pix. Now you will not able to see any border around the pages, isn't it? Let put it two pixels so that we will see the parts. Two pixels is more the one pix border style border style let put as dashed and see now border is dashed one if we make it full screen then you will able to see nicely the border is dashed one and border color border color let put red now I'll see that border color is changed into red I think we can put here background color also let put background color we are keeping aqua now we'll see on the output all the frames are colored in aqua so this way we can create frames in HTML. Now if we see the source of the page, we will have to go to page source. So this part we will see here, iframe, iframe, iframe. And this part leave it, it's not necessary. So this way we can create frames. Now we will see that part is not aligned properly because there is gap between these two frames. So if we remove the gap then it will adjust as same. So for that we will have one property like gap we will give zero fix. It should work. think gap will not work here. So this way we can create frames. If you still have any confusions, you can write in comment section. And here we have some more questions related to frames. First, some short questions. You can read from the screen. And here are some descriptive questions. Thank you for watching, see you in a new video, till then take care and bye.